Hey guys, Amanda here. A little known fact about me is that I'm obsessed with pie. I love anything to do with pie. I think it's actually hereditary. My dad is also equally as obsessed with pie and I think he's passed it down to me. It's like in my genes. Um, I grew up in South Florida and for any kind of big holiday or family occasion, we always had key lime pie. So to kick off this like pie series that I wanna start here, here is how you make my key lime pie. Okay, so any good key lime pie has a graham cracker crust. This is how I make mine. I use basically store-bought graham crackers, um, and an easy way to tell how many graham crackers you need is just to count them out. So there's nine graham crackers in a package like this. I'm gonna add nine of these crackers, plus four more into here. It's just easier than having to say like one cup of ground graham crackers, because um, then you have to kind of weigh it out after you already whisk it around. So those are my nine, and let's add four more. There's something about the smell of graham crackers. It's just like my childhood. <laughs> I ate a lot of graham crackers growing up. So into the food processor, we're just gonna pulse until it's like fine sand. You want it ground really fine. Okay, and to that, I'm gonna add seven tablespoons of butter. And then just pulse until it's the consistency of wet sand now. It's all about sand. Can you sense a theme in my Florida childhood? <laughs> so let's remove the blade so we don't hurt ourselves. And then I've got a pie plate right here a nine inch pie plate, and we're just gonna pour in the graham cracker crust. And with our fingers, we're just gonna press it down. So just kinda make it even and push it up the sides. Okay, this gets baked at 350 degrees for about five to seven minutes, or until it gets like kind of golden brown on top. Okay, so while my crust bakes, let's make the filling for it. So I've got five egg yolks. So I wanted to show you the color of my egg. Um, I used eggs from two different kind of cartons that I got from the store, and it's so crazy, like the difference in the colors, you can definitely tell they eat very different diets. Um, so five egg yolks. Okay, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, and then the good stuff, the key lime juice. We want two thirds of a cup of key lime juice. So key limes are different than regular limes that you would see at the grocery store. Key limes are a lot smaller. They're also not quite as, as acidic. Um, and I grew up on key limes. So we had them in our backyard growing up in Florida, and I'm a huge fan of anything key lime. Um, and since sometimes I can't get them in California, or they're very seasonal, or local to Florida, um, you can get them at the grocery store, just in a bottle like this. So I get this actually at BevMo or any kind of liquor store. Um, I'm not sure why I always find that liquor stores rather than the regular supermarket, but it's gonna be in the juice aisle or just ask kind of your local grocery store. Okay, so we've got the sweetened condensed milk, the egg yolks, we're gonna add a pinch of salt and then whisk it together. Okay, whisk it really well until it's all incorporated and then into the pie crust. Okay, so my graham cracker crust is out of the oven. I've let it cool slightly. Now we're gonna pour in the filling. So just wanna go right in the center and pour it all in. And then into the oven, this goes for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, so my pie is done. It's out of the oven and I let it cool overnight. It's best to kind of let it cool overnight in the refrigerator so it kind of firms up and makes it easier to cut. So let's top it with some whipped cream. For the whipped cream, I'm just basically adding a cup of heavy cream and then I'm gonna whip that together. If you wanna sweeten it slightly, you can. You can add a couple tablespoons of sugar, but I don't really want mine too sweet, so I don't sweeten it. So cold cream, and then we're just gonna whip it until soft peaks. Be careful when you're whipping whipped cream because if you over whip it, you have butter. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm not sure I want butter on my key lime pie. Okay, let's put a big old dollop of this whipped cream right in the center of the pie. You could also just put it all over the pie if you wanted to, but I just like a little bit right in the center. I've also seen key lime pie where they put meringue on top, but I kind of feel like simple is better. And then let's just make it all sorts of pretty with a little garnish on top. So I've got my whipped cream on there and I've garnished it with just a regular lime wheel, so let's dig on in. This thing is beautiful. I'm super excited to taste it. Look at that, it is gorgeous. The custard is like perfectly set with the whipped cream on top and that kind of crumbly graham cracker crust. It is amazing, so let's eat. Mm, it's so good. This is like my all-time favorite dessert in the world. I mean, there's so much nostalgia around it, obviously, but I love that it's not too sweet and it's not too sour. It kind of is like perfectly balanced with that creaminess of the whipped cream on top and the crumbly graham cracker crust. It's everything I want in a dessert. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe as I upload new recipe videos every week. Okay, now I'm eating more pie. <laughs>